welcome to this 2024 commencement graduation ceremony for Project Search here at uh, Sincere Careplex. My name is Stephen Bond. I'll be emceeing as much as I can. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful trip to he here today. If you're not familiar with Project Search, it is a vocational program for students who have um, their register on the special education needs uh, scale to come to a facility or an internship to learn some um, on-the-job training skills and uh, social skills within uh, the work environment. So to give them a little jump start in the, in the right direction. Otherwise, opportunities, of course, as you know, when you graduate, you really don't get to see all these folks out there. But um, it's a great opportunity. We've been doing it for years, several well, decades probably by now. But um, I appreciate all the help that everyone's here, supportive, the families, friends, coworkers, definitely my executive staff in the back of the room, our uh, chief medical officer, our chief operations officer, and our chief, chief nursing officer, all here to support as long as everybody here, as far as the um, Hampton City Schools, Newport News City Schools, are the two entities in which we participate with the students, you know, from Hampton. Um, we have, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. From Hampton, we have Dr. Hayes, excuse me. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. Mr. Caggiano, I always get your name wrong, but I practice, I practice, I practice. <laughs> so I'm serious. I, 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 honestly, I've messed his name up probably like five, six times already. But I said I'm going to have to get it right this time. Um, Newport News City Schools, definitely, um, I want to thank um, the special education directors, um, Ms. Vivian. She had, Excuse me, she goes, okay, Mr. Tulo, you don't have to stand up. You can just raise, I just, I just want to make sure that, you know, I give everybody their props. So I really, really appreciate it. And from Hampton City Schools, Ms. Judge, definitely, I really appreciate all of you being here and sending your staff to support, definitely. Um, in respect of everybody's time, I, pro I, apologize, I apologize for the uh, delay. Uh, there's been some, um, not just the audiovisual delays, but um, also the tunnels have been backed up a little bit. So I'm um, trying to respect everybody's time and get this party rolling. Mm -hmm. So um, with no further ado, we're gonna have some opening remarks by someone who's been with the program for just as long as I have definitely, and probably as long as it's been in Virginia, uh, Ms. Kim Shepard. Thank you, my dear. Do you anything? Wow, that makes me sound really old, huh? <laughs> He's right though. Um, I had the great opportunity to be the very first counselor at the beginning of this most awesome project search program. And I'd say it's probably been 15 plus years. You know, when you get older like me, you, those dates just start running together. But yeah, it's, it's such an honor to be here. I say it every year, but I enjoy presenting and being here more than than y'all are enjoying this graduation I can tell you so I certainly appreciate the opportunity to be here and I was as I was saying to some of the Sentara folks here because I saw their name tags from the time I walked into the parking lot to all the way back around here I have had nothing but the best customer service that I've ever received I feel like I'm at the Jefferson Hotel, and I told everyone that. So I just really appreciate this opportunity that we have, the schools, DARS, the students, to work at such a fine center. So I just want to give it up for Sentara. And thank you you know, like I said, for this opportunity. Um, when I'm asked to speak, I always think, I wanna talk to the, the most important people here, and that's our graduates. So that's who, not that y'all aren't important, because you definitely are, couldn't do it without <coughs> y'all's support. The families, parents, friends, y'all are most important. But today, I'm here to honor you all. And y'all don't even know me, do you? My name's Kim Shepard, and I work for the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. And I hope that you've heard of our agency before. Because after you leave here, the most important thing happens after you graduate from here. And what is that? Get a job. There you go. So now, this is only the beginning, right? Yes. Okay, so when I was 
Every year I have to come up with a theme. That just makes me happy. So, you know, I, I wanted to think of a theme for you all this year. And I moved here from North Carolina in 1989. Y'all weren't even born yet. So, but long time ago, I moved here. And what I noticed about being in Virginia is there's water, water, water everywhere. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe this could be my, my theme this year. So my theme is life's a beach. Have y'all ever heard of life's a beach? Yes. Maybe, oh, okay, great. Y'all maybe haven't, but maybe your parents have. Like that was a cool thing to say when I was young. Life's a beach. That was a cool thing to say. So that's going to be my theme today. And um, so how many of you all have ever been to the beach? Okay. How many of you all have seen the beach and thought about maybe you might want to go to the beach? Maybe some people say, eh, I don't think I ever want to go to the beach. And that's okay. But let's imagine that we're at a beach, okay? Okay, so at the beach you have waves, right? All right, so just like the waves, life has its ups and downs. Remember to ride the waves, enjoy the sunshine, and don't be afraid to get your feet wet. And what does that mean? It means don't be afraid to try new things and to branch out because that's what you're getting ready to do. Maybe step outside of your comfort zone for getting that first job, right? If you get knocked down, if a wave comes by and knocks you down, what are you going to do? Get back. Oh. Say that louder. Get back up. Get back up. <laughs> so if you get knocked down, get back up and keep going. And be careful. And be, be careful. <laughs> Yes. So we learn from it. Okay. So your graduation is like reaching a new shore, right? You've learned a lot, but there's still a whole ocean of knowledge out there. So I want you to keep exploring, keep learning, and always remember to make a splash wherever you go. So happy graduation. Congratulations. And I have a little something for you to remember this day. Life's a beach, and then you graduate. Okay. Okay, okay Mr. Safety Guy? Yeah. Do you want to wear yours, or do you want to just put it in the bucket? Put the bucket. Okay, I'm fine with that. I like that Carolina blue shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look, that's going to match you nicely, too. Do you want to wear yours? Keep it in the bucket. Wear Oh, good. Cool. I like it. It's going to look so nice. Let's take the sticker off. Congratulations. All right. Moving on down. Oh, I wish I had a red one. I like that red. Okay, do you want to wear yours or hold it in the bucket? Oh, I understand. How about you? Would you like to wear yours? Or? There you are. How about you? You look nice. Everybody looks so nice. In the bucket? Or, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody looks so very nice. This is a great day. There you are. I feel like saying aloha. <laughs> Bucket or wear? Bucket. All right. You look nice too. Congratulations, everybody. Can Thank I get a high So now moving on with the program, we're going to go ahead and recognize some of the departments that you might have seen displayed here and on the video. Okay? So if I could have Miss teacher, Ms. Mitchell, assist me. And if there's anybody in these departments that are here, I would like you to come up and please receive this award. So for our first department, we have environmental services. Anybody here? Anybody here? All right. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Next department we have is food services. Food services. Oh, you back there. She's going to do it again. Come on. Yay. I promise you this young lady is not. <laughs> I promise you this young lady is not trying to take all the awards home for herself. She's actually the director in charge of these areas. So thank you very much, Lauren. I appreciate that very much. The next department will be HIM. Anybody from HIM? No. HIM, no. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jose, but we'll reserve that for another time. Okay. <laughs> Our imaging department, radiology, imaging. Come on up. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. go. Our sterile processing department. All right, all right. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Right. Our supply chain department. All y'all get up. All y'all get up. I'm going to be un outdone by sterile processing. pictures later. And our volunteer services department. Anyone here? Volunteer services? I don't see anybody. Sure. Oh, ooh. okay. Thank you, good sir. Good, good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, this concludes the department celebration for the um, areas that we they actually intern in those areas, right? So supply chain, and sterile processing, they actually work side by side with the workers that are there, and they're kind of like family. So I'm glad to see that you guys came out to represent. Appreciate it very much. And moving on with the program, we're going to ask for a Miss Allie Dodd from the Choice Group to come up here, explain a little bit about their program, and to um, get the students up here and talk to you for a bit. Hi, I'm Allie Dodd. I work with the Choice Group. I am the one that helps your students find jobs now that they are done with Project Woo! Search. <laughs> Having said that, if your student doesn't have an appointment with me yet, please see me before you go to make sure that we start that job search and get them going. Um, I have been with the students this entire year and I have learned so much from so many of them. Um, and I've watched them grow. Messiah, when he came in, wouldn't talk to us much and now I can't get him to stop telling me about everything. <laughs> He's always bright and full of life and always excited to go to work. Jose has the best sense of humor. He always makes me laugh. Kelvin is a little too serious and wears the weight of the world on his shoulders. And I think that he needs to take a deep breath and enjoy the flowers a little bit more, Kelvin. Um, Serenity has learned to stand up for herself and to speak up when she feels that life is being unfair. And, you know, that is one of the best skills that they could ever get here. The, the ability to say, wait a minute, that's not right. Because even regular people, when they go to work, sometimes have a hard time saying, hey, that's not okay. And Serenity can tell you now, she also helped me with this beautiful balloon arch, y'all. This is all Serenity. <laughs> Tyron amazed me one day. We were sitting in the hospital, and I don't know if you know, but overhead, when there's a baby born, they play a lullaby. And they played it, and about five minutes later, they played it again. And Tyron looks at me and goes, twins, Miss Allie. I've been here 12 years. I didn't put that together. <laughs> I went, oh my gosh, you're right. That is twins. <laughs> so, um, he, you know, every day they amaze me with something. Paul has the best smile in the entire world, and he just lights up your entire day with that smile. And Robert is such a good leader ready to step in and help everyone and even if he doesn't know the task he's like tell me what to do i got this um and i have been blessed to work with all of them now what it's going to look like is i'm going to come to your homes i'm going to pick them up we're going to go out we're going to look for jobs when they get a job i'm going to take them to the when they get an interview i'm going to take them to the interview 
I want them to dress nicely, y'all. <laughs> and then when they get a job, I'm going to go to work with them. I'm going to help them learn how to do that job. And then for the entire lifetime of their employment, every month I will check on them and say, how are they doing? Do they need help asking for leave? Do they need help advocating for a raise? Um, are they having problems with a coworker? Do they have a new boss who doesn't get them yet? All the things that we all wish we had somebody to help us navigate at work. And that's what I will be there for. So y'all keep my number, okay? Now the students have a little bit of something to say. So I am going to go ahead and introduce them. And we are going to start with Messiah Gordon. <laughs> oh, yes. My name is Messiah. I learned how to measure my time and how to be on time to work in the project search. I like working in the ESD apartment and in supply chain. I love cleaning the windows, vacuuming, and keeping the bathrooms clean. My mentor John was cool. I also liked working with Mr. Darrell and Mr. Watcher making deliveries. I met a lot of new people. I have, f I had fun playing hey man with my friends on fun Fridays. Our next student is Jose Hernandez. My name is Jose. I had a good time at Project Search. I have bonded with new people and learned new job skills. It helped me grow up and know how to work at a job. I learned CPR and how to have group conversations. I learned a lot from my mentors, Ms. Teresa from HIM, with tidiness and stacking things alphabetically neatly. Ms. Tamika and imaging helped me talk to new people and improve my people skills. Everyone in supply chain, Roger, Steve, Josh, Julia, and Reese trained me to be stronger and to be responsible and take plate things to its rightful spot. Every, <laughs> everyone in, the, in I already read that, sorry. I enjoyed Fun Fridays and playing Uno with Calvin, Ricky, and Serenity. We all made each other laugh. And the quote is, and you always saw the quote, Good times don't last forever, but good memories do. Our next speaker is Kelvin Sapp. My name is Kelvin Sapp. Uh, Project Search taught me how to manage my time and keep a schedule for work. I also grew a lot and learned how to be independent at work and at home. I work at, oh wait, ooh. <laughs> I work in the store processing department. I work with Andre and Miss D in the whole department. I learned how to sterilize the tools for the sterile, I mean, surgical trays. There are many different tools and I study and learn to identify them all. My mentors were wonderful, and they taught me how to be a team player and keep a clean work environment. I hope to get a job in store processing and feel that I am prepared to. Our next speaker is Ms. Serenity Tainer. My name is Serenity. Project Search gave me an opportunity to, to be in a work program and learn new skills that I can take with me to a job. I learned how to manage my time, work hard, and always do my best. I even met a very pretty service dog doing her job. I liked working in the imaging department and learned a lot of new skills. I also got to meet new people and help them go back to their appointments. Ms. Tamika was a great mentor and helped me learn and improve my customer service skills and how to communicate with the public. 
I also worked in supply chain where I delivered supplies to the two departments throughout the hospital. I learned how to read package slips and match numbers of the items in the box of the numbers on the slips. I also worked in food service department where I learned how to keep a safe and clean environment as well as pop proper cleaning pro protocols. I can use all these skills that I learned in project search, especially communicating and organizational skills and the job that I would like as a date in like at a daycare center. Our next intern is Tyron Bernard. My, my name is Tyron. Uh, the things I like about project is, is that I work in, in different departments. I like supply chain the best deliver box well. Mr. Jared and Roger Pusher taught me to be a, a hard worker. I ready to get a job and, and, and I want to work in a where on stocking stocking in a store at Target. Our next speaker is our next speaker is Paul Johnson. My name is Paul. Project search taught. Me how to be a team player. Yeah. My favorite job was working in food service. I enjoyed stocking the sodas and loading the dishwasher. I was very good at my job. I also like to work in ESD. I like to smile a lot in project search. And everyone liked my smile. We laughed a lot with each other. Our final speaker is Robert Williams. Hey. Hey. Do this. My name is Robert. What I like about Padre, sir, I was learning how to do a good job. My favorite department was energy and I working with customer. I learned how to do many things. Great patient and and check them ripping, loose the fat machine, put package together, and walk the patient to the back. I like when I help Sonia measure her desk 
to see if the printer and paper was fit. Miss Tamika was a great meter and a very nice. Miss Kamoy was great too. They taught me a lot of seal that I can take me to a job. I also like working in the supply chains with Miss Adair. He showed me a lot about checking association dates. He and he was always so kind to me. Miss Hills and Miss Conda also showed me a lot about working in a ki kitchen when I was working in food service. I read I've I really learned a lot and I will miss Pajay search. At this time, I'm going to ask um, Mr. Bond and Miss Bonnie to come back up and present the certificates to the students. I'd just like to say that it has been my honor to teach these students. They have been such a joy, and I may have been their teacher, but you guys taught me so much. I enjoyed coming in here every day and working with you, and I am so proud of you and the skills that you have developed, and I know will go into the workforce in our community and make good choices and move on up, as Kelvin said. Move on up. It's my honor to give them their certificates today. Mm -hmm. All right, for our first intern we have is Mr. Messiah Gordon. Come on down. And next we have Mr. Jose Hernandez. Mr. Kelvin Sapp. Congratulations, sir. Awesome. Cannot leave out our young lady, Miss Serenity Tainer. Mr. Tyron Bainard. Yeah. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. Mr. Paul Johnson. So in closing, I would like to say thank you for everyone's time, for all the support we have for this program, and hopefully to continue it on for years to come. Um, it is something 
like Miss Shepard was saying, you know, we wish we had somebody there. And same thing with Allie. If you were there when I got my first job, I don't know, I might still be there. You never know. <laughs> but um, when you have things going on in your life and sometimes you don't know who to go to, right? It's good to have a support group like this here to be able to help you along that journey, especially with our younger generation, right? Because they're going to be taken care of. Right? Um, so that concludes the actual ceremony itself. In the rear of this, uh, in back here in the conference room, there's some refreshments. Definitely more welcome to enjoy and mingle amongst each other, take pictures. And um, if you want to, if you have any questions, definitely ask. But um, enjoy the rest of the slide. I hope you all got to see the slideshow. If you didn't, you're more than welcome to come up here or you can look at it on the computer because I want to keep the lights up. All right. Anybody have anything else they would like? All right. Well, again, to, again to these young interns, congratulations. Appreciate it.